Okay, three, two, one, going live, and we should be good now. Hello, everyone. Uh, put some stuff in the chat if you can see me or hear. Ah! Uh, put some stuff in the chat if you can see me or hear. Ah! Some stuff in the chat. Okay. <laughs> Off to a good start. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining. Just doing a little quick stream tonight of Kerbal Space Program. We will see what happens while wow, we're dropping a lot of viewers. <laughs> Uh, also, shout out to the new video light. I spent like 30 bucks on Amazon and I got two of these like nice big soft box video lights. So hopefully this helps make things uh, look a little bit better. And <laughs> sorry, F in the chat for Nathan. My volume was way too high. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Fix your webcam. What's wrong with my webcam? Um, let's see. All right, who do we got here? Uh, Great Cow, Blue Dragon, Tyler Douglas, Joe Wakefield, Paul, Drew Brick Brickell, I always get the name wrong, Captain Finn, Best Buddy Manka, Romeo, Terrence, Lucas, Crispy. Um, yeah, all right, this is great. Nuffly, Nightbot is here. Thanks for joining, Nightbot. Um, Kenneth Buckingham, <laughs> expecting more big F moments today. Well, yeah, so let's talk about that. Um, We'll start our, our game here. So in the BPS Discord, Nathan and several other people have been uh, valiantly, oh, hey, Eric, uh, valiantly trying to rescue the uh, Kerbonauts from the I'm Joey Bizzle game. Uh, these are the Kerbonauts that I uh, somewhat willfully stranded on, uh, on Eve. So let's just... Uh, remind ourselves of, of what's going on here. If we move to the Eve ship number one, we'll see what happened. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, so these are our Kerbo nuts, and not only could they not get out, uh, but they're stranded on Eve. Or I, I suppose not only could they not uh, get home, but they can't even get out of the capsule. So this is a terrible situation, and what we're gonna do what we're gonna do, listen real close. Listen to me, real close. I don't wanna hear about it again. They're staying there. They don't exist. They aren't there. Say it with me. These Kerbonauts, they don't exist. Uh, okay, great. So now that we have cleared that up, let's go to the Space Center where we will start our first flight um, of this uh, this uh, this thing that we got going here, Kerbal Space Program. We will we will begin our first rocket flight that we've ever had as part of uh, uh, playing Kerbal Space Program. Glad we can all agree on that. Um, that this is our first flight and that we have not sent any other Kerbals to anywhere else in the Kerbal, Kerbal Knot system. <laughs> they do not exist. All right, so I had, I just thought about it earlier today and I kind of was wondering like how fast can you actually go? I kept rewatching the pad abort test that I was doing last time where I pretended I was uh, Boeing and I just yeeted the capsule as hard as I could off of the launch pad. And then I kind of thought, it would be cool to just see like how fast can we go. I think it requires that we stay in the atmosphere. But the goal would be like, let's just start building because of how chaos P be. Like you start off, uh, well let's not start off with that. We'll start off with a capsule so we can have a, a Kerbonaut. Like there's no, <laughs> there's no real goal here. We could try to go to a planet if someone wants but I do kind of like the idea of just, uh, just kind of going for it, you know? Like this, and then we put some fins on. Like, the best part about KSP is that you can get off the ground in like three seconds. So if, if we've got fins, we've got the capsule, who's, who's flying it? Bob, right, um, because there's no one in this game. Uh, once again, I'd just like to make it very clear. There is no one in this game named Jeb or Bill. Bob and Valentina are the only stock players that you get started with. Just so we're all clear. Uh, yeah, so Bob's flying this. 
like how fast do you think you can go before it blows up? And then could you put a heat shield up front and have that help? I don't know. That's my goal right now. Uh, no RCS. Oh, this is slower than I thought it would be. So we'll get started going this way. We've got plenty of fuel to burn. I'm seeing people put it in the chat that uh, there are two other uh, Kerbals that exist. Uh, this, someone says their name is uh, Zachary, says their name is Jeb and Bill. I don't know what you're talking about, Zachary. I gotta be honest, it's... Uh, I just don't know uh, what you're talking about there. Sorry. Wish I could. Wish I could help. So this is fun. <laughs> it's kind of like a missile. Um, we're not actually going as fast as I want. And the other thing that we need to change is the uh, ambient light boost. Because that gets all messed up. Apply, accept, great. This is not as fast as I was hoping to go. It's probably because it's pretty draggy. I wanna see if we can get like a ground speed record. Uh-oh, overheat. <laughs> okay, so max is 1666. That is telling, man, that it is a 666. Is the booster still going? Where's, uh... I hear noise. Oh! You know what? I think there's still stuff going. Oh, there's a fin! The fins are still going. They're doing pretty well. Honestly, on their own, they shouldn't be this aerodynamically stable, but, uh... You know, sometimes it'd be like that. And like that, sometimes it do be... I should listen to the chat, because not doing a whole lot of that. <laughs> All right, let's revert to VAB and do something serious. I also have grabbed uh, a beer here. I've got one called Untitled Art. It's got this beautiful label. It's supposed to be a sour, which I really am into sour beers. Uh, it's called... Yeah, it's called Untitled Art by uh, Mitch... Michelada, or Michaelada. Uh, special, speciation artists, artisanal ales. Anyway, it's like super fancy. I'm a millennial, so I buy fancy drinks. Okay, what do we do today, everyone? Because, because I don't think, <laughs> I don't think this is that entertaining. Uh, strapping a bunch of boosters to a capsule. I mean, we can do more of that if people want it. But, um, yeah, what do we do today? I guess we could just do a bunch of these. How bad would that be? You know? How good, how bad could it be? Make a crew dragon? Oh, that would be cool. I can't wait for Sprite, says Nathan M. Nathan, neither can I. Oh, wow, that's, he, he a wiggly boy. Yeah, here's Sprite. Um, oops. This is Sprite right now. Here, let me turn it to just the webcam. Uh, this is where we're at with Sprite. Um, this is the vehicle uh, without the top part. I think later tonight, while, while I'm watching the Tesla Cybertruck thing, um, I'll probably start putting on the, the top spars for the vehicle. Um, but we do have it wired up, so it's starting to, starting to work here. Give it a sec. There it is. So we've got the feet light, uh, the computer's working, and uh, yeah, moving along. Okay. Make a crew dragon, recreate Sprite. Where's the flannel shirt and beard? <laughs> I cannot grow a beard, Stu, I'm so sorry. Uh, oh my. Oh! Mm. That's very sour. Oh, wow. Oh. That might be my limit for, for how sour. 
Okay. First, just for fun. Here we go. I like that trajectory. All right, we're definitely getting faster. We're like accelerating faster than we were before. Okay, reusable booster, do it, says Moon Man. You know, man, we could do that. I've never done that in KSP yet. I haven't tried to, to do a reusable booster. Do you think we'll get going any faster? I'm also losing altitude. Yeah, I kind of like, uh, I kind of like the reusable booster idea, Moon Man. I mean, like, in general, I like it, and then I also like it for trying it out with KSP. All right, do you think we're gonna go faster than before? Unclear. Well, ah, oh, nuts, not quite as fast. These are still going though. <laughs> All right, reusable booster, I think it is. Is everyone cool with that? Yes or no in the chat? Are we cool with uh, trying to do a ground up reusable booster? I haven't done it before, so you might have to be a little patient with that. All right. People say yes. Talk about Starship. Starship seems to be missing some of it right now. That's that's what I can tell you about that. Uh, yes. Okay, great. People are into it, so let's do it. Reusable booster. With, um, like, Jolly Ranchers in a can. That's kind of what it is. Or, like, Sour Patch Kids. Okay. So... Is it crude? Should we make this this craft crude? Let's do it. I think that's a good idea. Uh, how do I zoom in? There it is. Okay, so we'll have one crew member. We'll give him a little abort system because it, it's gonna be like our little crew, crew dragon. Um, and yeah, this is our abort system for the craft. <laughs> He needs a parachute, because he's going to orbit. And he probably needs some solar panels that don't, uh, <laughs> that don't touch the hatch of the craft. Okay, just a couple of tiny ones. You can just do two. Man, I'm not uh, zooming well. Here we go. Okay. That's the hatch. I just got a new mouse, and it's, like, wigging me out. Okay, that's the hatch. We need a parachute. Oops, not that. It's utility? Boom. All right, going well. We've got little reaction wheels. We've got solar panels. I don't think we need a battery. We could add a tiny battery. Sorry, I have like a stuffy nose. All right, we'll add a tiny little battery, just one. Ah, it's in front of the hatch. Hold on, we need to do a test. Reuse a booster. Save, we need a, a quick test here. Not that I've ever had problems with this before because I wanna make it abundantly clear I've never had problems with this before. But, okay, yeah, look, I can EVA. Even though the Separatrons are kind of in front of the hatch, I can EVA. Cool. We can also yeet the booster, we can, or we can test the, the uh, in-flight abort. Yeah! That will work. That will definitely work. Uh, 
That will work. Okay, here we go. Revert to VAB. Honestly, this, yeah, this beer is right on the, on the edge of I don't like this. Uh, all right, now let's go down to coupling. <laughs> Be able to separate these two things. The abort stage is going to have this. Is there an ab abort action group? Uh, abort, yeah, okay, group actions. So how do I do this? How do I make... I've never, I don't really use action groups. I know I should. Abort. Oh, here we go. Uh, toggle engine, separatron. And then the other abort action is decouple. And that's the abort action, right? So now, Make sure decoupler is on a board. Moonman, good call. And the motors, okay. So I think I've got that. How do I abort? What is the abort action group? Like what's the, uh, is there a keystroke for it? <laughs> uh, first name, last name says, hey Joe, I'm probably gonna have to post this like 30 times before it's read, but ye, when will the next echo landing test be? I'm really excited to know what happens. Uh, I can show it to you. I've been sitting on some landing footage for a hot minute here. Um, here, I can plug in the hard drive and we can uh, take a look. Yeah, it is. It actually happened in September, but my goal was it's so unsatisfying to see these, these tests when they don't fully work that I actually was hoping to just release it once I have landed it and then release both of the tests. Um, here, let's. we can take a little look here, though. Uh, hold on one second. Let me see if I can find it. EDF. Uh, here it is. Yeah, this is it. Uh, here we go. Uh, if I do display capture, that work? Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay. Here's the, uh, this is like September, and I'll probably post this at some point, but uh... So really good on the on the horizontal movement, and it's really, it's just another situation where it, it bounces a couple of times. Um, yeah, so next landing test, hopefully soon, uh, we will see. Okay. Have you ever considered a BPS aerospike? I'm not really interested in the aerospike thing. Um, Tim Dodd has a great uh, recap on why that is. Uh... Well, I, I just am also not a propulsion engineer. Okay, I'm sure someone put it in here. Uh, left of that or delete the exclamation point. Okay, so delete is the abort. Yeah. Awesome. All right, that's our abort action group. Revert to VAB. Thank you, Moon Man. Uh, all right, so now I don't think we're gonna include a trunk with it because it's naturally stable on its own. So I guess what we could do is we could test that. Let's test that. Let's see what happens when we abort and it's like pretty it's moving pretty fast already. That's what I'm curious about. So let's try it. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Okay, this is probably maximum, max Q here. Stable enough for me. Vert to BAB. Joey B living in a society. Ethan, it, it most definitely do be like that. <laughs> the pusher abort. Okay, um, this is great news. So now we need a second stage, an upper stage to actually push us into orbit once we separate. That is, that tank is too large. That will not be acceptable. 
this tank is maybe just right. Uh, and then, okay, up here, we don't actually need like this swivel. I think we just need the lightest one. So Reliant Terrier, I think, right? Just a little, little buddy there. We've got reaction wheels on the craft, so we don't need thrusters. Uh, and we've got a little battery and some solar panels. Okay, great. This feels cool. Uh, we also need to change this. Okay, so the separation motors, can I disable these from um, the staging stuff? How do I disable these unless it's time to abort? Maybe if I go back into action groups. Stage. Disable. Hmm. Just move them to the top in their own stage, says Moonman. So basically, I just move them far away from the other staging events, is, is what the, uh, the plan is. I guess that makes sense. As a last stage, what is disable same vessel? All right, I'm, nope, I'm gonna go with this. I think Moonman's right. We will have them as their own thing. Um, here's a question too. Okay, so this will go in its own action group after that when we separate the stages. Right, so we burn the second stage, then we separate, then we put out the chute. Dope. I love this. Uh, all right, another decoupler. That's what we want here. Coupling. Uh, not that one. This one. Boop. Fuel tanks. Get one of these. I think maybe two. I'm just going to kind of start with, like, the Falcon 9-ish shape, and we'll see what happens. This is going to be hard. I, I am not going to be good at this. And I might need more fuel than this, too. Let's go real tall with it. Um, so that, oh, booster needs control and command. Yeah, you're right, that's true. So we need uh, one of these bad boys. There it is. Okay, great, and the booster might need batteries? Yeah, okay. Uh, electrical. Nope, too big. Okay. Batteries, guidance unit. At the bottom, we'll toss a big ol' engine or a couple of them. That's too big. It'd be great if I could get, like, multiple engines for... Okay, what's the best? Let's just do this. RCS as well. Okay, add some reaction control. Got it. Um, boy, I don't think I need that much fuel, but we can we can do it. And I only need it on the top because we're we're just flipping around like a Falcon Nine, so. I'll do four little thruster pods. Technically, we only need two, but I'm bad at stuff, so we're doing four. Um, the Reliant doesn't gimbal. Uh, okay. The Swivel does. I went with the Reliant just because I wanted more, uh, better performance. Okay. Uh, ground. <laughs> Let's just, let's just see how this works out for me. I'm not convinced that it will, but let's see. So first we light the engine on the ground. Then we separate the stages and light the second engine, putting that stage into orbit. Check your TWR doesn't look like it would be high enough. Um, yeah, where is my TWR? Thank you. 
feel like I might be missing this. Click DV. Uh, TWR. Where do I see it, though? The center of the legs. Oh my gosh, this, is, this must be so frustrating to watch. On the stage icon on the right side. The stage icon, oh, I see it. TWR is 0.83, so we are not getting off the ground with this bad boy. Can we go Atlas V with it? Um, and just get a couple little boosty boys there? Ooh, yeah. Kind of like that. Um, we could do the Atlas V power slide. Uh, and then we just need to detach them too. Uh, coupling. Oh, and then Joe Wakefield was mad at me because I didn't center the legs. Sorry, Joe, let's do that. Uh, okay, cool. There's that. Uh, let me go back to this. Okay, then we'll add one of these boys right here. That's kind of on there. <laughs> Wait, that's not even attached. Wait, it's not even attached to the thing. Am I not using the right there? Okay, boom, there it is. That's good. Now we need little nose cones on here. Little tiny, oh, that's not gonna work. Uh, wait, those are intakes. That's too big, that won't work. Oh my gosh, am I ever gonna get it? Here we go. All right. With the stage, if we light both of these, separate, yeah. For this, oh my gosh, we are just gonna make it off the ground. 1.01 TWR. The SRBs are off center. Yeah, it's not great. I'm not crazy proud of it. Let's do what KSP does best and just try it. <laughs> All right. What's, what's going on with shrimps? What's with the shrimp talk? <laughs> this thing looks terrible. I need to change a couple of things before we try that again. Hold on. <laughs> Joe, what are your thoughts on photons? I think they exist. Those are my thoughts. Start retracted. Right, the right, the right, the right, the right, the right, the right. Okay, and then I need to do some of these. Uh, I'll just do two. There. Save, launch. Have a smaller tank isolated on booster. That way you burn till all the other tanks in the booster have depleted and the engine will cut out. Then after staging, reactivate tank. That would be a good idea. Okay, ready? Are we all good? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not promising that this will work. I'm just saying I really want to fly it. Here we go. Oh, this won't, this is, this won't do at all. Hold on, let me revert to VAB. Check your staging. <laughs> right, everything lights at once. Good. Let's try that again. <laughs> oh boy. 
All right, ready? Give me a countdown in the chat, please. Countdown. Three, five, four, two, five, three, one, zero, three, go. Two, one, 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 69, one, two, three, T minus one, seven, 99 and, and 420 blazes. Ah! <laughs> oh boy. We probably needed another booster on there. Wow, that was a bra moment, huh? This is how you say, not the most best. <laughs> oh my God, okay, abort, abort, abort. <laughs> we had to abort, the booster was, not, was underperforming. The booster's still going. Oh, and I can still control it. All right, well, that's still going. That beeping in the background is a battery charging, if you can hear that. There goes our booster, off to safety. <laughs> uh, where's the, here we go. Let's, this is the boost back burn. This is the boost back burn. All right, gear out. Is he gonna make it? What do we think? This is incredible. <laughs> Only retrograde. Is it gonna happen? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I hate that. F. F in the chat. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, man. All right. Boy, that really, like, had a chance of working, and then it didn't. Thank you for the Fs, everyone. Much appreciated. We have to wait for our, our brave Carbonaut to land. We can speed up a little bit. Oh, my God. All right. It's all right. There we go. And down on the ground, safe and sound. I don't know what's going on with the graphics here, but let's revert to VAB. So we need to change a couple of things here. I mean, if that wasn't already obvious, uh, it's clear now, honestly, we just need more boosters, or they need to be larger, I guess. <laughs> I suppose we could have more boosters, but what if they were just bigger? Will anyone get mad if I put these on? It's KSP, man. It doesn't have to be good. It has to just be your own. And this is distinctly my own. All right, people say do it, so I'm into it. Let's do it. Well, we are back to the sort of Titan IV style design. I wouldn't call it good, but I, it's not like, hmm. 
This isn't my favorite design, but it's also my least favorite design. Uh, all right, boosters, separation, ignition, all good. We're ditching two thirds of this vehicle and we're still gonna call it reusable. Got some KSP vids on my channel. Oh boy, Moon Man, I don't, I feel bad about this. I don't think I've ever looked at your channel. Wait, no, I must have. Holy Moses, dude. You're killing it. Look at those views, man. Folks, go subscribe to Moon Man. Oh no, I definitely have seen your channel because you have the Antares stuff on there. That's awesome. I gotta, I, uh, I don't think I'm subscribed. Moon Man, I'm so sorry. I just subscribed. All right. Uh, here we go. So, SAS, throttle up. Three, I need the countdown again, please, in the chat. That would be appreciated. <laughs> Five, three, 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 two, zero, twelve, three, five, sixty-nine, sixty-nine, six, two, one, go, negative one, five. Much better. Much better this time. Very little control authority, but much better. Oh boy, you know what we don't have is roll control. We are rolling a bunch. See, this is gonna be harder to recover from. Because we're really kind of yeeting up into the atmosphere. Oh dear. Oh man, all right, so the AOA has to be just absolutely zero when we separate these boosters. Oh man, I am worried about this. Okay, let's just let it calmly straighten out and separation. Woo, there they go. Goodbye, boosties. Thanks for the help. We have a ton of fuel left, this is awesome. And, all right, cut. RCS off. Okay. Here's what I think. I think with more than half a tank of fuel right here, we are gonna separate. Nice shot. We're gonna separate. And I'm gonna flip, and we're gonna start burning back. Oh, I don't want that. Here we go. We're gonna flip. And we're gonna burn back. All right. In fact, I would I would like turn it a little bit too, just so we make sure we're going to land. <laughs> there is nothing optimal about this trajectory. This is also a pretty uh, Canine Rocket Technologies has a question, and I I would like everyone in the chat to answer the question completely truthfully. He asks. It's a weird question about me abandoning some Kerbonauts, and I want everyone to answer that in the chat with the whole truth of the situation. Okay. That feels good to me. Nice old ballistic arc there. And, oh no, we have no fuel left. I mean, like, we have some, but not much. Don't love that. 
Okay. Oh, near no nearby objects to focus on. Okay, map. Switch to. Boy, I'm worried about activating that that in-flight abort. Oh, can we vector this? Gimbal. Oh yeah, okay, free. It can be vectored. We are gonna burn, we're gonna just tilt. Um, oh, we're already like right at the Apo apps. Here we go. Let's just burn into whatever orbit works here, which is this, pretty much. Okay, burn time, one minute, and it's in 40 seconds. So we're gonna head to our maneuver node. Oh, one minute 15, so it's time to go. Here we go. All right, that's burning. Switch to. Ooh, cannot switch vessels while under acceleration. That's fine though. Um, yeah, we've got time with this guy and uh, I think it'll be okay. We've got time with him over there. <laughs> Yeet time, one minute. <laughs> All right, this is going surprisingly well. I'm feeling good about it. You have enough, says Moon Man. Do a slight entry burn and the atmosphere will Atmosphere will do most of the work slowing you down. Great, thank you so much. We also, I'm realizing, um, or I'm remembering at least, we also have, um, oh my gosh, I must be having a stroke. What am I trying to say? We also have a smaller and smaller amount of fuel so we don't have to uh, burn so hard on the way down. All right, here we go. Doesn't have to be super precise. Three, two, one, and yeet. Woof, man. Excuse me. Um, another close one, 0 0.1 meters per second. Great. This is awesome. Now we have to switch real quick to Boosty Boy, who be coming in hot. He be coming in. Uh, we're gonna go retrograde and hold on. Didn't someone say I should switch to surface? How, how should I do the retrograde stuff? And also how's the monoprop? Oh, the monoprop's fine. I'm gonna leave that up there though. Yes, says Moon Man. So... <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. We play KSP, boosters are cool. You know, the rhyme is close enough. I think, I think I'll think i take it. All right, use surface velocity. So we're retrograde to surface. And when, when do I, I probably do the entry burn right around like 90 or 80. Boy, feeling a little nervous about this. All right. We coming in. Do I have arrow breaks? No, I do not. Ooh, F5, quick save. Thank you so much, chat. Thank you, Ross Clemens. All right, coming in hot. Think we should burn? I don't know if we need to burn yet. Try to drop velocity to a thousand when hitting atmosphere. So probably like soon. Okay, I'm doing it. Oh, it's going down slower than I thought it would. Okay, entry burn. That feels good. We're speeding back up, but hopefully. Oh man, <laughs> oh boy. 
Worried about this? Holy Moses. Uh, feel like that should have been lower. Okay, all right, all right. Ah, jeez, not feeling great about this. Okay, this should do most of the work, right? I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh no, it is. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> that was incredible! That was so close! Oh man, there was so much luck involved in that. Wow, what a rush though. Oh jeez, that was awesome. <laughs> okay, let's land this capsule and, and try it again. I wanna do like a full mission every time we do this. So uh, we'll go around a little bit and then uh, let's burn retrograde uh, here. Excuse me. Okay, here we go. Fuel. Retrograde. And let's just burn. Burn a little bit. And try to get down somewhere on land. Stop. Let's also go. I think we want... Oh, gee. Should we be burning normal? I think we want to burn normal. Yeah, that's what I want. We have plenty of fuel to do this too, so I'm gonna burn normal for a little bit. Just so I have like a big old range where I can uh, get down on the ground. Ooh, boy. Um. Well, I didn't do this super efficiently, but I also did it inefficiently. Okay, that's gonna work, pretty sure. Let's not go harder than that. Wicked hard. Okay. Now, we're gonna separate the stages. We'll come in a little bit more into the sunlight before we do that, though, because we've got, got a little bit of time here. Great. Oops, not what I wanted. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Goodbye. Retrograde. SAS off. And we're ready to come in. You know what I didn't think about is how these are going to be affected. That's a lot of boosters. I suppose I could fire them to deorbit. Ooh. I don't really want to fire them. Maybe I could Soyuz it and fire them like right before I hit the ground. Roses are red, violets are blue. Echo was hard and landing this booster too. You know what? I'm really lo I'm really loving the uh, the roses are red poems. I like this a lot. If you come, if you have a good poem, or if I just happen to see it in the chat, I'll read your, I'll read your roses or red poems. Okay. Just want to go a little faster here. Oop, okay, here we go. We're coming in. <laughs> oh, 
Roses are red, violets are blue. May your winds be low and your skies be blue. That's nice. Roses are red, violets are blue. Sprite is a rocket. Let's hope it, let's hope it doesn't land so violent. <laughs> uh oh, we heating up a little bit here, folks. Uh, roses are red, violets are violet. This landing may become a bit violent. Roses are red, violets are blue. We love the Kerbals. Don't kill them, too. <laughs> abort. You think I should abort? Okay. SAS on. Go in retrograde. And abort. <laughs> That's awesome. That's dope, and I love it. And SAS off. Coming in kind of hot here. And also in the middle of nowhere. Roses are red, violets are blue. Echo fell over and your booster did too. Roses are red, violets are blue. Jeb and Bill don't exist. They were never stranded by you. Nice. Uh, let's see. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm not a ser serial killer. Why would you ask that question? <laughs> Roses are red, violets are green. I don't know how to English, so yeet rockets to space and you win. I think that's how it works, at least. Also, you will read this. Activate, control C, control V. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm pretty screwed, and so are you. All right, shoots out, what do we think? Do we put shoots out? Think parachutes. I have uh, gotten myself in serious trouble several times by not putting shoots out soon enough. But I think we're good here. Roses are red, violets are blue. You ate hot sushi and you were red too, true. Roses are red, right click the blue Delta V above the stage to see the TWR, my dude. <laughs> Come on, shoot. Come on, shoot. Come on, shoot. Come on, shoot. There it is. Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. You're my best friend. Come on, Bob. Come for the KSP, stay for the songs. Roses are red, violets are blue. Joey B is hot, deep thought. Nice. Joey B, do you ever wear casual clothes? Like a t-shirt? I just really like having nice button downs. Sometimes I wear t-shirts. Okay, this is going too slowly for me. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm gonna poo and so are you. You know what, man? Everybody poops. That's how it works. <laughs> Clap it up. Clap it up. All right. Resume. How do I... Uh, Recover vessel, great. Collapse for 10 minutes straight. <laughs> so should we try it again? Let's try it again, but with air brakes this time. Right, I think that, I think that was probably the thing that, that I really got wrong last time was no air brakes. Roses are red, violets are blue. More boosters! <laughs> All right. Let's uh, open up our craft here. Reuse a booster, load. So the thing, <laughs> I totally forgot. We used a significant uh, assist from side boosters, which are larger than the main booster, but we're gonna forget about that. <laughs> Put a thrust limit on the SRBs. Drew, no way, man. Those SRBs are gonna do, their SRBs gonna SRB. 
What we do need is air brakes. And... Aren't they, like, under here somewhere? <laughs> air brakes! They're literally called air brakes. Oh my god, they're huge. Alright, well, I gotta use them, so... They're gonna help. Oh, it won't let me put four on. Okay, well, I could just do two. Just joined. Hey, y'all. Hi, Simply Space. Um, oh, you know what we could do, pals? Because <laughs> I know what we could do. I don't know that everyone's going to like it. I actually get a, a feeling that some people won't like it. But I kind of feel like I know what we could do. I kind of feel like I have an answer to this. Okay, are they both attached? It's always kind of hard to tell. That's not really, I mean like they're kind of attached, but not really. I'm so bad at this. All right, I'm just gonna trust it. You know what, who cares? That's, that's attached enough for me. Uh, I don't know if that's enough space. Okay, well, <clears throat> we have to make this work, folks. There is no choice. I guess we could go higher up. Let's do that. Okay. This is the worst thing I've ever done. This is the worst thing I've ever done. Yeah, boy. All right. My longest yeah, boy ever. Oh, it won't do four. Why won't it do four? I can do three. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, ha, ha. Yes. Okay. We burn these motors first. Then we decouple the side boosters. Then we decouple these stages. And then I think we can just activate stuff as it happens. Flip them upside down, says Moon Man. Let's do it, man. I trust that. Oops. Oh, that looks kind of pretty. <laughs> and deactivate the control authority. So, should the authority limiter be zero? Uh, it's already inactive. Okay, cool. In the action group, someone suggested that we take these and assign them a number. So let's do it. Uh, how do I assign it to a key? I'm gonna assign them to the light action group. And uh, how do I do that? <laughs> Click the blue box. What's the, what's the blue box? They default to breaks. Okay, that's fine then. Uh, let's just try it. Let's just see what happens. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. These are gonna really help. Boy, I should probably put them up a little higher. Ah, uh, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, and everything else works, right? Okay, let's, let me make sure I've saved and then we'll do it. 
Here we go, save and launch. Joe makes my brain hurt when he plays KSP. You know what, man? I, I feel ya. I feel ya right. Feel you good. Here we go, pals. SAS, turn an RCS on for roll control, and because we have plenty of monoprop. Ready? Give me that countdown. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get some countdowns here. Three, five, ten, two, four, twenty, one, four. I can't, that's no, that number is too long. 789, 1, 3, 7, boomers, 1, 69, 757, 70, 0, 69, 69, shroot, 69, 62, 15, 67, 7, 0, 1, 9, launch. Here we go. Man, the vehicle is like rolling on its own. It's really weird. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. You know what? For no reason, and I really mean this, for no reason at all, I just wanna, oh, I should have aborted! Oh, that would have been awesome! Okay, now we have to redo it, just so I can do that. <laughs> that's, that's a way better idea, I forgot I put that on there. All right, let's just pretend that this is gonna be a normal launch. Just pretend, okay? Right, so we're gonna we're gonna get it going pretty fast, and then I'm gonna pitch too far over. <laughs> the abort system failed to activate. That's what happened. Okay, here we go. Oh no, I'm losing control authority, and we're past the safety limit. <laughs> oh, whoa! There goes the rocket. Wow, that is a cool shot. All right, here's the problem with the abort, is that I, I really just want to launch it again. <laughs> All right. Here we go, folks. Third time's a charm. Three. Oh, one more countdown. One more countdown, please. The abort system worked fine, but the system that activated the abort system failed. Yeet, 420, 3, 69, 89, 2, 1, 9, 10, 0 0.44444, 2, 1, 4, 7, 5. All right, and we're off. I should probably keep it a little bit more steep than I do. I feel like that would help the booster a little bit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Okay, we're getting control authority back, I think. Are we? I think we've just sort of changed trajectory a little bit, and we're gonna have to be fine with it. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm really not liking this. Ah, uh, do we abort? No, I think we're good. Oh, geez, this is really hard to figure out where I am and like get my bearings here. Okay, we're back to 90 degrees. I guess we're going to a polar orbit, pals. 
cut and set and start the flip around. Oh, wait, you know what, though? Oh, jeez, this is so bad. Oh, this is the worst thing I've ever done. Okay, hold on. I just, we gotta, gotta, ugh, the roll really messed me up. The roll did me in good. Get me back to somewhere safe. Do it, do it, do it. Here we go now. Oh, this is so bad. Hey, Jake, stop spamming the chat. <laughs> this is not great. Uh, you know what? You know what I think? I think this. I think that's our new landing trajectory. That's what. That's kind of what I think. I also kind of think we are high enough with this that we should just do it. Switch to. We should just burn into an orbit. Let's just go prograde. It does not even matter, man. We just got to get into an orbit so that we can focus on the booster. So here we go. <laughs> oh man. Do you think it do you think it's going to work this time? Do you think we're going to be able to land it? Cuz I'm not totally sure. I'm also worried about oh, I really should have waited till Apogee. This was a bad idea. All right, screw it. Um, yeah, I should have. I should have waited till Apogee. All right, we're gonna focus on this. Oh boy! All right, retrograde to the surface. Here we go. Let's look at our prop. We've got plenty of monoprop left. Brakes are coming out. And we're just gonna do our best here, pals. We should have enough fuel. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Surprise ASMR. That's why you come to the Joey B streams. That's what you that's what you're here for. I'm sure. Also, hold up. Ambient light boost. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Press the wave. Oh, yeah. Okay, right. Thank you very much to that K the KSP guy. That was helpful. Also, I kind of feel like we're doing a lot better than we were last time. F5, thank you, Moon Man. Thank you, everyone who said F5. Oh, we're back in. I'm gonna try to use not that much fuel. Gonna try to keep it below 1,000 meters per second. Feel like this is doable. We came in way hotter last time. I'm just gonna do a quick little burn here, just for funsies. Just for funsies. Oh man, we're really cruising. We're really cruising and it's really low and I, okay, here it comes. It's happening. We're slowing down. We're gonna let the atmosphere do most of the work. The gear's gonna come out at some point. Oh, look, oh my gosh, this is not even that bad. 
Okay. I feel good. I feel good. I feel really good about this. 9,000. When I slow down, I can do it really fast because I have very little fuel. I really feel good about this. We should also just like get the gear out nice and early. Okay, it's happening. And now I can't promise that we're gonna land on a stable surface. I can't promise that. What I can promise you is that if I touch down softly, I'm counting it. Boy, we're really maintaining like such a, such like a smooth speed here. Okay, here we go. That was too soon. I'm landing on this as if I have infinite fuel. RCS, help me out. Okay, here we go. We're, we're leaving because I can't, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's, let's see, here we go. Air brakes crashed in the, into the terrain, landing struck collided into the surface. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. How do I switch? It won't switch. How do I switch? Switch to. There it is. Oh no, it's in the atmosphere. It's too late. It's too late. Where's the tracking station? Hold on. Tracking station. F5. Resume. F5. And then, tracking station, leave. Uh on a suborbital trajectory, do it. We gotta not have these Kerbals die. Okay? Uh, and it seems a little bit like, you know what? Do you think this would work? Do you think we have enough fuel to make this happen? <laughs> I kinda think probably not. All right, Ronathan Johnson, enough. <laughs> uh, like, I don't think it'll actually work. Yeah, no, I think, I think we have to, I think we got to call it. All right. Oh, we really have to eat this thing like right now. Retrograde uh, to the surface, is that correct? Okay, yeah, and then let's also just, uh, let's use the abort engines. Nice, 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 nice. Just trying to stay on the land, which I don't really think is gonna happen, but we tried. And now RCS and SAS off. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, yeah, if you get spammed, if you get if you get spammed or if you keep spamming, I'm just going to remove you from the channel and you won't be able to comment anymore. So, don't do it. Um All right. The Joey B channel is here for fun. <laughs> Not for spam. We coming in. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. Can we watch Tesla on this KSP stream of yours? No, I will not be streaming the Tesla stream. Good question, but um, I think I think it's probably better if, if you just watch it on the Tesla stream. <laughs> All right. Coming in hot, Valentina. Bill had the uh, Bill had the last mission. This is Valentina now. Let's see. Let's see how we do. It should be fine. But like also, it should have been fine the several other times that I've really messed up parachutes. It's really with with the Joey B streams, it's like not over until it's over. Okay. And I think shoots out. Yeah. Got to go now. Bye. See you Nathan. Thanks for joining. Joe, are you buying a Cybertruck? Oh, I don't think so. If I had the money for a Cybertruck, I would spend it all on rockets. I actually don't know how much it is, but I assume it's more than keeping my existing car. I assume it costs more than that. Um, all right, time to get those shoots out, please. Oh no, come on. There we go. All right, so I think they just always come out at a meter. Or uh, a thousand meters, that's what it is. All right, we're doing it. It's happening. Come on down to the ground. Come on down, Valentina Kerman. Okay. Put an S in the chat for her survival, please. S in the chat. S is the opposite of F. Got him! Fully successful mission with an entirely recovered booster. Don't look that up. Don't rewind this video. It was recovered successfully. We did it. Again, I cannot stress how much it is important to not look that up and not verify it. Because it's true, so don't you don't even need to question it. I mean, we all, Moonman says it, we all saw it. You know, trust your eyes. And your eyes definitely saw that I landed that booster. <laughs> the Salty Gamer says, I'm rewinding right now. You better not. You better not be. You better not. Because we landed that booster just like we had our first mission today with any Kerbonauts. And we've never sent any other Kerbonauts anywhere else at all. And that's it. That's the, the whole truth of the matter. And you don't need to look it up. All right today uh for for the joey b ksp streams thanks for joining i know it's short but i had some time and i really like doing this so there's lots more fun shenanigans that we can do i'm sure soon thank you all for joining thanks for the support there's a lot of crazy support on the bps channel now thank you all i assume most of you subscribe there too so thanks for understanding the uh the the little video experiment that i'm doing over there um so far, it's been really cool, and the, it's like crazy how much quicker I can edit those videos when I take all the pressure off of, off of them like needing to be polished or anything crazy like that. So, that's all for now. I am gonna watch the Cybertruck event while wiring up the top half of Sprite here. And, uh, yeah, that's all for now. Oh. Thanks again for joining. I will talk to you all soon. And, uh, 
may your kerbals be green and your house be clean. I'm Joey B. Good night. <laughs>